this is a nice log. You see what I'm, you see now the, the cut? Mm -hmm. Put the eyeball down there. Try a little bit straighter. Okay. Still okay, we're fine. We got plenty of wood. Forgot your axe. Thank you. What do you got there? I'd say about one foot or one foot, one inch. Over a foot? Yeah. All right, we got another saw log. That'll be three. What are the hazards? And what's the buck going to be? I'm going to say that it's neither because it looks quite flat. That or it's compression. You're not looking at the same log I am. Come on over here. It's important to look at it from two sides because you can't always tell from one side. Now point me where is your buck at? Right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you see? I see just about flat just about the entire way, but it's a little bit, uh, it's on an edge right there. So maybe compression? That log's not touching the ground the entire length. Go stick your hand under there and see. Oh, I can see it, but okay. what does that make it? You tell me. Tension, because it's only touching up there? That's right, it's in tension. It means that's going to be an easy buck. But it's going to fall down as soon as you cut it because it's all suspended, right? So just be ready. Which way is it going to roll if it does roll? Uh, probably that way. It could go either way. It could go either way. So when you're finishing up that cut, come back, use the end of the bar, and be ready to move. Just take a step back if you need to. You know what I was planning on doing? What? Putting a big rock right there. Well. You can manage it. You don't need to pack a big rock around. All right, get your saw fired up. Okay. All right, Jack, show me where you're going to buck. Right here. Okay. Show me any potential hazards you see. So down here, there is a uh, limb sticking out. That's right. But I thought that this was far enough away from my cutting point, and it would also keep from rolling over onto the side I'd be cutting from. Exactly. That's exactly what I would do. Good observation. By having that limb right there and by leaving it, that's going to save you. There's no way that log's going to come back over and break that limb off and roll over on your foot. So I would agree with you. Cut it, buck it, and then come over here and deal with that. So now you can see right here since you've cleared this out, mm -hmm. look here. That whole log is all suspended. It's just hanging. That's going to be in, what did we say? Uh, tension. It's going to be in tension, right. All right, so we were in tension on the top, right? Uh-huh. We were in compression on the bottom, right? Uh-huh. What got you? Compression. The compression got you. What tool can you use to get your saw out of here? The, my handy wedge, which I can't get out of my pocket. <laughs> All right. The other thing is, it, is you ha usually when you go to the woods, you go with two saws. So if you have to, you can cut, your, cut one saw out. Now be careful. We got several hundred pounds suspended here that could fall at any moment, you want to stay away from this. So your saw is wedged in there. What can we do to get that out of there? Um, push it. Well, we'll stay on the uphill side, right? Mm -hmm. So go ahead and why don't you put your wedge in right there, right above your, your saw. Right here? Yeah, and you, so when you drive it, what's it going to do? It's going to split it open. It's going to open that up. So when you use your ax, I'm just going to demonstrate. I'll have you do it. You're going to stay well clear of this one because the this wedging action could break it loose. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to come over here like this and I'm going to just tap it. Lightly tap it and with continuing force and keep checking my saw, see if I can get my saw out. All right. Mm -hmm. That is one crooked cut there, Jackman. I thought it was okay. Look at it from the top. 
Okay, so here we have a conundrum. We have a problem. We got a tree that this is going to want to come down. It's suspended. It's about 16 inches off the ground. When you remove this holding wood right here, that's going to drive your bar down into the ground, possibly damage it, possibly bend it, most certainly dull your teeth on your saw blade, right? Mm -hmm. So we got our wedge in there. We're going to leave that in there to leave that open a little bit. One thing we can do to mitigate this so this doesn't happen is we're going to come in and we're going to do an undercut just to the left of this. Just to the left of this. So we're going to we're going to just take just the slightest thickness, almost the thickness of the bar to the left of it. Mm -hmm. Is this piece going to fall? Mm -mm. No. Is this piece going to fall? Mm -hmm. So if we cut this piece, the weight of this is going to pull those fibers loose. And when that falls, our blade is going to be safely on this log. And it's, that log is going to go right alongside of it. It's not going to drive the bar down into the ground. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's really important when you come in and undercut it that you stay to the left of this kerf. Stay to the left of it. Come in underneath and start cutting with an upward pressure. You got it? Mm -hmm. Make sure your bar is deep. You should be cutting in the mid portion of the bar. All right, let's go for it. Do you see how that trick worked? Mm -hmm. Your bar was safe, but the tree came down and you didn't damage your bar. That's how you do an underbuck with something that's suspended like that. Nice. That was very well done. Let's take a look at it. What happened here? So what it did is it just took a little chunk out right here and popped out right down there. Right. Just tore that out. Came in. You could come even in a little bit closer. It would have been fine, but what you did was good. Nicely done. That's a good trick. Perfectly done.
All right, what do you think, Jack? Those are some nice saw logs. These will make a nice project for this winter, huh? Mm -hmm. What do you want to make out of them? Um, a big fire. No. <laughs> No, I cannot burn these. They're too nice. These are, be are beautiful logs. Well, maybe we'll make some, what, should we make some, uh, maybe some six by sixes and four by fours and whatever we can get out of them. Some maybe spoons. some two by fours. Some what? Spoons. You make a lot of spoons out of this. So here's a good question for you in the comments. Who can guess the age of this tree right here? Jack and I, we both counted these. We'll get an average. Put your guess in the comments and whoever wins, whoever guesses it first, will get honorable mention and will be a super tree star, right? You get a, you get a count? Mm-hmm. All right, I got mine too. All right, put your guess in. 